presentation on antihistamine medicines. Hi, I am Ali. I am pharmacist, medical writer, and a trainer. Uh, my today's topic. Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to this presentation on antihistamines. In this presentation, I will explain what antihistamines and are and how they work what type of antihistamines are available and what side effects and precautions they may have. Direction, understanding antihistamines, a brief overview. Are you familiar with antihistamines? These medications are designed to contract the effect of histamines, a chemical that triggers allergic reaction in the body. Essentially, when your immune system detects a threat like an allergen or infection, it releases histamine to protect you. However, histamine can also cause unpleasant or even dangerous symptoms such as skin swelling, a runny nose, sneezing, or difficulty breathing. Antihistamines work by inhibiting histamine from binding to its receptors in the body, therefore alleviating these symptoms. As far as mechanism action is concerned, the understand uh, if we understand the mechanism action. Of antihistamines, let's delve into how histamines function. Typically, antihistamines are categorized as either first generation or second generation. Older histamines, known as first generation antihistamines, work by targeting histamine receptors across the body, including the brain and spinal cord. Additionally, they interact with other receptors such as muscarinic, alpha adrenergic, and serotonin receptors. Unfortunately, first-generation antihistamines are more prone to side effects such as drowsiness, dry mouth, dizziness, low blood pressure, and increased heart rate. They may also interact with other medications and impair cognitive function. Examples of first-generation antihistamines consist of diphenylhydramine, phenylphenidine, chlorophenylamine, chlorprimetron, bromophenylamine, dimethylamine and bromethazine phenergen. Second generation antihistamines. Uh, here are some important facts to know about second generation antihistamines. These drugs are newer and target mainly the histamine receptors in the periphery such as opposed to the brain or spinal cord. cord. They are designed to be less likely to cross the blood-brain barrier, which may result in pure side effects such as drowsiness and dry mouth. While it's possible to experience these side effects, it's less common than with first-generation antihistamines. Second-generation antihistamines are also less likely to interact with other medication or impair your ability to drive or operate heavy machinery. Some examples of second generation antihistamines include claritin, loratadine, uh, xeritic, uh, citrusine, uh, allegra, fexofenadine, and xyl, xyzyl, levocitrazine. Type of antihistamines uh, here an overview of the various types of antihistamines available. Antihistamines are available in different forms, including tablets, capsule, liquid syrups, creams, lotion, gels, eye drops, and nasal sprays. Your choice of antihistamines will depend on your symptoms and personal preferences. For instance, if you experience a runny nose or nasal congestion due to allergies, you may find a nasal spray more effective than a tablet. If you are suffering from itchy eyes, you may prefer using eye drops over a liquid. Similarly, if you have insect bites or hives on your skin, a cream or lotion may prove more powerful than a capsule. Side effects and precaution of antihistamines. Uh, antihistamines, precaution and possible side effects. When taking first generation antihistamines, be aware of the following side effects. Sleepiness, reduced coordination, reaction speed and judgment. It is important to avoid driving or operating machinery after taking these antihistamines. Other possible side effects include dry mouth, blood vision, difficulty urinating, fatigue, headache, loss of water function, excessive thirst, constipation, reduced coordination, and low blood pressure. Allergic reactions to antihistamines are also possible if you experience any of these side effects or signs of an allergic reaction such as rash, 
swelling of breath and difficulty discontinue use and seek medical attention immediately factors affecting antihistamines to ensure safe use of antihistamines follow these guidelines always read the label carefully and adhere to instructions for use before taking any antihistamines consult with your doctor or pharmacist if you have any medical condition or allergies that may affect your use of antihistamines or if you are taking any other medication that may interact with antihistamines Certain medications such as some type antidepressants, antibiotic, antifungals, anti-seizure drugs, blood pressure drugs, and painkillers may cause complications if taken with antihistamines. Refrain from consuming alcohol while taking antihistamines, as it can lead to drowsiness and other side effects. Continue. A brief overview of antihistamines and their types. In essence, antihistamines are medications that hinder the effects of uh, histamine, uh, histamine and are prescribed for allergic reactions and other ailments. Um, there are two pr primary varieties of antihistamines first generation antihistamines and second generation antihistamines. They are available in different forms and have varying side effects and precautions. Before taking any histamine, it is essential to consult with your doctor or pharmacist and carefully adhere to the instructions for use. You can contact me at my number that is 923005341906 and my email address is ali.denon at the rate of gmail.com. Thank you very much for your precious time. See you next time. Take care. Bye.